you can definitely say that the Harvard Crimson made the best of their second chance. Steve Madumasi hit a jumper with under 10 seconds to go to clinch Harvard's fourth consecutive NCAA tournament appearance with a 53-51 win over the Yale Bulldogs in the one-game Ivy League playoff here on the floor of the Palestra in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Now, in this ball game, the Harvard Crimson were down 27-23 at halftime, but they came storming out of the gate in the second half, took a lead as much as nine points at 46-37 in the second half, but the Yale Bulldogs fought back. Like the champions they are, they took the lead late in the second half, but it was the Wesley Saunders show for the Harvard Crimson in the second half. One of the seniors that carried the Crimson into the NCAA tournament once again. Saunders with 22 points in the ball game, and after the game, I got a chance to catch up with Wesley Saunders, and I asked him to begin our conversation to sum up his career. Four years four championships, and four NCAA tournament appearances. I mean, this is, this is the dream. Um, when, we, when all the seniors on our team came and signed to Harvard, um, this was the dream that Coach Amaker preached to us, and this is what we envisioned uh, for, the turn, for the program. And so just for us to be able to do this um, as consistently as we have is just a testament to the hard work and the dedication that, that everybody on our team has put in. Five NCAA tournament games that you've played in. Compare this game to those NCAA tournament games in terms of atmosphere and intensity. Just as intense? Oh, it was definitely intense. I mean, um, we, we had a great crowd showing. Um, a lot of our fans came out uh, from Harvard and, and made the long trip. I had some family from the West Coast come out. Mm -hmm. And so... Um, all the way from California. Yeah, all the way from California. So it was great to... Uh, to really feel the energy and then Yale obviously had their their crowd and everybody so it was definitely a, a lively atmosphere um, really similar to the tournament and so it was a good preparation for uh, for the tournament. You had 18 points in the second half but probably more memorable the assist to Steve Maldon Messi for the game winning basket. Uh, take me through that play did you think you were going to take the shot just uh, take me through the evolution of that play. Yeah I mean um, coach ran the play uh, he called the play for me um, but he told me just to make the right play. And so I didn't really have anything predetermined in my mind. I just wanted to see what the defense was going to give me. Um, and so I, I drove into the lane, and everybody collapsed like they had been doing all game. Um, and I saw Steve. He moved off of my penetration, came behind, and, and knocked down the shot. You knew that shot was going in, right? I, I mean, Steve shooting it, <laughs> I, I have confidence in Steve. So I, I had a pretty good feeling it was going in. That last possession on defense, I believe you were on Javier Duran with the ball, driving to the basket. What's going through your mind there? Man, he, he beat me a little bit um, on, the, on the play. So I just knew that we couldn't foul or else he would be going to the free throw line. He was knocking down his free throws. Um, but I knew that also Steve had my back as usual again. <laughs> Um, so the defensive player of the year came through. He altered the shot, um, and he, he was just big time. And then after the shot went up, we knew that we had to uh, kind of keep them off the backboard, which we didn't do a very good job of. Um, Sears got the tip, but luckily it just rolled off. Could you imagine being on the other end of this score? I mean, um, years before when I wasn't here, the same thing happened in a playoff with uh, – Princeton and, and, and us and um, some of the guys that were on the team, older guys before me, told me about that feeling, losing on a buzzer beater to, to Princeton. Um, and so they just they just reminded me that I don't want to have that feeling and none of us seniors want to have that feeling or that taste in our mouth as our last game. And so we just knew we had to come out and compete. And um, I feel for Yale because we know how hard they battled um, and, how, and how hard of a game this was to, to win. Um, so they played a great game. They had a great year, but um, we just we came out on top. Harvard is a brand name, of course, because of academics, but Harvard basketball is now a brand name in the past four or five years because of the success in the Ivy League and in the NCAA tournament. As you go back to the NCAA tournament, could that be you somehow as some sort of psychological advantage? Um, it's definitely great that we've uh, been able to get to the tournament. Um, and so we've had some experience, but Honestly, it's just going to come down to our play um, and just doing the things that, we, that we've that we done throughout the season and throughout these past four years I've been here. 
the last time we talked after a Yale game earlier this season, you said the first thing you're going to do on the bus is sleep. You cannot go to sleep the first thing going on the bus after winning uh, the Ivy automatic bid. No, no, definitely. I'm, I'm sure when I get back to my phone and get on the bus, there's going to be, it's going to take me a couple hours to go through these messages <laughs> and, and tweets and all that. So uh, I'm going to see, what, see what's going on, talk to my family, and uh, just enjoy this feeling, man. As for the Yale Bulldogs, you cannot imagine any more of a heartbreaking end to a season than the Yale Bulldogs had in this 2014-2015 season, up by one game in the Ivy League standings with one game to go. They lose that heartbreaker at the last second to the Dartmouth Big Green and have to play in this one-game playoff where they lose at the buzzer, 53-51. to The Yale Bulldogs were led by the Ivy League Player of the Year, Justin Sears. He had 13 points. The senior point guard, Javier Duran, his last game against an Ivy League team in the regular season, he had 12 points points hit eight of eight free throws. He was very aggressive in the second half, driving to the basket, almost willed the Bulldogs to victory, but Duran's last shot here at the Palestra, off the rim on a layup, and then the buzzer sounded, and the Harvard Crimson off to the NCAA tournament. So stay tuned to a lot of sports talk and a lot of sports talk.com, where we will have the written recap of this thrilling basketball game, and at the end of this evening, we also will have a recap of the Big East title game between the Villanova Wildcats and the Xavier Musketeers. From the floor of the Palestra in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, my name is Adashina Korki for a lot of sports talk.com.